Hi pussies, it's your boy Cloudsy. I've had so many requests for different kinds of custom gloves, camos and that. So I'm making this tuck for the gloves. Uh, if it does well, then you know the other things will come in the future. The gloves are definitely the hardest to do and I don't see many tutorials, if any, out there on how to do them. So here we are. Uh, first you're gonna need Photoshop. You're gonna need the DDS converter and then the DDS to UI converter. Uh, but that, that's all linked in the description. And you're gonna need these documents it's all linked in the description so download that and you'll be looking at hopefully this one this should be called copy by the time you get it uh but yeah so we got copy copy t square and square t and these will look different for you these have like camos and shit already on them from old camos that i've done i'm gonna go to google or whatever get whatever image you want it's gonna look like shit but so whatever one of these you reckon will look nice i think that will look quite nice not too colorful Copy that, get back over there. Uh, base, so you gotta fold it down here, it'll be base. You wanna copy this, and I've got two of them because I always forget. Rename that, Cloud Glove. Slap your image in and fucking resize that bitch. Uh, you open up the folder and you got all these layers so you can apply it to different parts of the glove. Chuck it like how you want it. So it's obviously your glove. Uh, the fingers are a bit tricky. I'm pretty sure this is the thumb up the top. I'm not 100% sure. It uh, doesn't matter too much, but yes, the top of your glove, bottom of your glove. But yeah, you clip mask that. I mean, you don't have to, but if you only want it on this part of the glove, close enough. And then for the cuff, like that. Probably put it inverted, maybe. I don't know. Sometimes this is. Uh, like skin tone like on this as you see it's it's like skin kind of texture uh certain classes on like maps and shit have like different types of gloves and sleeves and that some have bare arms so it's up to you if you want to leave it bare uh it can look a bit funky on the cuff of the sleeve but it's not that bad it's probably not as bad as having a fucking cloud looking wrist but we'll chuck it here for the sake of the tutorial if you cycle through the blend modes as well i find a lot of the time at least one of them will be sick probably do that one you can see the stitching through it a little bit so once you got your glove looking how you think you want it i uh, just duplicate the folder and then you want to merge that but you also want to duplicate this background uh but you basically want to merge these two together so this whole thing is just one layer and then you want to duplicate that layer to the other three documents and I just did it the long way uh, for each of these you got to resize it differently uh, I'll go through uh, so for this one you just want to drag this corner to this corner so that it resizes there uh, so this is the size of this document for the square one you just want to move it so that it's you know got this half of the thing and I'll leave a, like a layer underneath so you can turn off the opacity just make sure it's lined up like that is uh and then for this one this one is the trickiest one you want to grab this corner put it in the middle still super easy and then drag it over so you're just looking at the hand part of the arm uh you'll notice you've got copy and square and then copy t and square t as your psds uh the t basically stands for transparent so you want to make these a bit transparent uh probably around 20 percent uh, this is just for the T files, by the way. So for copy and square, uh, it's 100% opacity. But for copy T and square T, uh, turn that down to like 20, 25%. Alright, once you've done that, you want to save as. And depending on where your DDS converter saved to, it'll probably be in its own folder. I find it easiest to save these PNGs to that one folder. Uh, and then this is going to be copy. Alright, once all of those are saved as PNGs, you want to leave Photoshop open. Because I find 9 times out of 10, the glove doesn't look how I want it to look. Uh, we'll switch over to this monitor. We'll get up the DDS converter folder. Uh, but basically, you've got these PNGs in here. Uh, you want to run the DDS converter and click convert. And that'll convert all the PNGs in this folder to DDS format. So once everything is in DDS, you want to open your folder 
whether iwi to dds or dds iwi whatever converter this looking thing uh you want to open the folder with this in it and you want to grab all your dds's not the pngs just the dot dds grab those drag them on top of that and it'll come up do you want to allow this app you just click yes da 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 uh type one press enter for beer two that's what we're doing one enter easy now we got all of these iwi files so you want to open up the batch folder drag the four iwi files in and then you just run pussy.bat which is what i named it never changed the name of it so you should end up with these 24 files iwi files you don't want to grab the instructions or pussy.bat get all of these iwi files that have been made and drag them into their own folder uh just name the folder whatever you want the title of the glove to be i guess and then if you drag that there you want to open up your plutonium folder now t6r data images control a will select everything in that folder and you want to copy it into your images folder and re replace or if you don't have gloves already it won't say that but get them in this folder uh that's pretty much it though you just want to open the game double check that the glove looks how you want it to look uh it does look different on different maps like yemen vertigo sometimes fire the game up load up your favorite trick shotting server your favorite rig gunning server whatever server you like to play and bam you have your little gloves these are fucking ugly